Welcome back to the Snowly Podcast. This is your host, Gorda Van. So late last uh, winter, I got wind of a new uh, helmet that was coming out from CKX. And uh, being a CKX uh, Titan user uh, for the past uh, year and uh, uh, CKX uh, 707 helmet uh, before that, uh, I had r- really good success uh, with uh, the CKX helmets and really liked them. I liked the way they fit and uh, the, the comfort and uh, the, you know, the anti-fogging with the, with the, with the uh, Titan. I felt it was a really good quality helmet. So, I'd say last winter I got wind of uh, a new uh, uh, CKX helmet coming out called the Mission. So I gave up. Uh, I gave a call to the uh, guys at uh, CKX, and uh, they graciously allowed me to uh, to try one of the new Mission helmets. Now the new Mission helmet has got a new airflow system called AWS, and it worked really good. And um, I I'm kind of maybe one of the rare ones that like a nice quiet helmet. And this new uh, mission helmet was phenomenal. Very quiet, uh, very comfortable. Uh, the breathing system worked awesome. And um, I, you know, I, I hope to uh, get a long-term uh, unit. Though. I'm going to get one myself. So anyway, I've talked here to Ian Dunbar from CKX. And he does mention some of the uh, prices and weights. So don't take them as gospel. They may be slightly off. So, and he also gives us uh, Canadian prices so this was a pre-production helmet and um i really liked it so here's ian dunbar from C- from kimpex okay to talk to ian dunbar from uh, kimpex uh um ian your your um your uh, placement in, in, in the kimpex where with the, your uh, district manager yeah so i'm the district sales manager for southwestern ontario so i take care of basically orangeville to all the borders this year is uh, you have a brand new helmet um, yes. Called, called the mission. Yes. Um, comparison wise, what uh, for so, for the two? So the number one thing about it that I really found great is that it's the same head shape as the Titan. So if you love the way your Titans fit, it's kind of an intermediate oval. Then this is gonna the new mission is gonna fit exactly the same way. So it fits a majority of people. It's gonna be super comfortable. Really, really good there. That's where they. That's where they stay the same, and about from this far back. What they did was they started with the Titan. They always knew they wanted to have a full visor, um, but it was going to be too complicated to somehow retrofit it to this. So what we did is we started with the Titan from the back and worked our way forward to really make an absolutely awesome one. Perfect. Now this one's not it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and uh, let's see. Uh, I think the big news is the uh, the mission helmet. Is our mission helmet, and the biggest news with this is our AMS system. So it's our air management system. Hey. So the best way to show you is one. You'll notice we've got these two gigantic exhaust vents on the back here. So what that's going to do is that actually runs all the way through to the front, which we can see on our cutout here. So it's going to take all the warm, moist air from the front here, and when you're just standing, it's going to all push it out. But as you're riding, we're creating a negative pressure back here, so it's actually going to suck all the warm, moist air out. So that's going to greatly reduce any risk of fogging or anything like that. It's going to keep you comfortable, keep you cool. And actually, a pretty neat thing that even the designer didn't really expect is if you have a passenger riding behind you and you're wearing this helmet, they can hear you perfectly through the back. And uh, interesting, you, you, you had me try it. and. Um and, and if, if you breathe really hard and you put your hands on the back yep, right here, right on the back. Uh, that you can actually feel your breath come out the back. Yep. And which was, it, it just shows that it's, it's working. Yeah, and on a cold day too, it'll actually, as you just have it down and breathing normally, it'll puff out just like you could see your breath uh, if you had no helmet on whatsoever. Perfect. So, and, um, okay, so what, uh, so, so some other features we got? So, some of the other features here is we have an absolutely huge vision area. Our drop-down visor, now this is a pre-production color, we don't have that one yet. Um, is that, that, was a, that was a switch you put on the side there. With that, the it's that a nice big chunky switch there, so not going to be any issues with the biggest mitt, biggest glove, you're going to be able to find it, smash it forward or back, and away you go. Okay. So, and the ni- great thing about this too, is it's actually a decent size, the drop-down visor. Generally you're going to get the, uh, that horizon line right yeah. in the middle of your eyes. Yeah and it's gonna fog up about the second you think about it. But with this one, it's a correct size, it fits all the way down to the nose piece, 
Plus with that AMS system, it's not going to fog. We're not going to have any issues whatsoever with that. Okay. And um, the visor, you said the, the visor, it, um, it's you can adjust it uh, up and down a little bit. Yep. And um, also you can also remove it if you want. Yes. Yep. This one here, so we've got a two position. Let me grab a different one. Okay. That one's the super pre-production. No, but I can, I can do edits here. To yeah. Cut and stuff. So. That looks sharp, that nice dark shield. There we are. The <laughs> nice dark shade, it's pretty dark. So if you're running in really nice sunny climate a lot of the time, then you're good. Otherwise, yeah. I'd say yeah. clear. Um, but yeah, so it is a two position. So you can adjust it up and down. You can also just take it right off if that's not quite your style. And it's kind of got something for everybody. And of course it is included in the box. So we're never gonna get it. Oh, you know, I really wish I got the visor. Oh, I don't have it. You're always gonna have it and you can do with it as you please. Yeah, and it looks good without the, the, uh, the visor too. Some helmets, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it don't look so good without a, without a, no, absolutely. Of a, 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 you know, a, a ball kind of thing, a cue ball kind of thing. But uh, Yep, and the nice the, thing is, visor off. super, super easy to take on and off. Yeah, there you go. And there we nice. are. Looks like your I traditional got, road helmet. I gotta admit, it's pretty sharp. Yeah, yeah. This is the carbon, the carbon uh, model. So, this is our carbon version. Um, super, super light. If I'm not mistaken, it's 1,600 grams. Um, so again, if anybody's got you know any kind of a neck problem, I need a lighter helmet, that's gonna help. Yeah. That's gonna help. Or if you just wanna be super cool. Off, off, the, off the, the cuff here, uh, what, what's the, what was the weight of the uh, Titan? Because they're pretty close. The weight of the Titan? I think we're pretty similar uh, as far as weight. I think it's in that 1600 gram uh, range for the carbon. I know we're about 1750 uh, for the standard fiber. Okay. Awesome. And okay, some uh, some more features. Uh, you, you showed us the uh, the nose piece. <laughs> okay, and also you showed us the uh, the nose piece. Uh, that, yes. that kind of the way it conforms uh, yep. around around your your nose and the adjustability of it. Yep. Can you so show that? what I'll do is I'll grab you a clear visor. That's going to make your life a whole lot easier. One, again, you'll notice visor removal, super, super easy. Just pops right on and off. Wow, everything is. So that's the other thing you should notice is we do have a nice big opening here. It isn't a traditional modular, but being as open as it is, you're still gonna be able to have a drink of water, talk, anything like that. One of the benefits of having a full chin bar like this is it does help increase any type of safety. Um, it's going to be a much more sturdy helmet. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, no helmet is perfect and no helmet can uh, protect you from any impact. You just try and always get the best that you can and the best that you like. Now, with the visor here, this actually has everything attached to it. We've got our breath box, we've got all of our venting. Now, we've had this breath box before. We've got it, had it in our Titan 1.5. Nope, sorry, our Trans 1.5. So. Being a nice silicone. It's nice and soft, yeah. It's super, super soft, and the great thing is too, is no longer are you pinching your nose shut to have to try and get it to fit and seal properly. It's gonna seal right away every time. We've got these two straps on the bottom here, so that's gonna adjust it kind of in and down. And the great thing about that is you set it once and then you never have to touch it again. It's gonna be the exact same fit every time, sealing the same way every time. Now, it is removable. And as long as we're moving, you can run it without the breath box, okay? Because that's gonna pull, again, pulling all the more moist air out, it's gonna help keep it from any type of fogging. Now, when you stop, we may get a little misty, of course, since we're not pulling all the air out, but as soon as you start running, you're good to go. As far as adjustability with this, is we do have a two-piece system here. So on large and up, what we've got is this nice shallow piece and medium and down we've got a much deeper piece so that's going to move the uh, entire breath box uh, towards or away from your face. Okay. Now it comes with both in the box so that, that way if you've got somebody with a really big melon but a small nose we can fit that and again if you've got somebody with a smaller head put a more bigger schnoz on you 
then again, we'll fit it there. That adds a level of adjustability that we haven't really had in the past and not a lot of other, uh, not a lot of other helmets have had in the past as well. Mm -hmm. So it really helps to be able to customize the helmet to make sure that it fits perfectly on you every time. Okay, and what about shields, uh, colors and, uh, and uh, at, inner shields and outer shields? At the moment, we have a clear um, and we do have uh, on the carbon fiber the dark shade available um, and they are in the works of coming out with new interior shades. Um, I don't have any information on that yeah. yet. Yeah, so these are all pre-production, -pre so uh, the availability yes. is in August, you said? Uh, we should have them in August, they should be in stores by September. Okay. Okay, and um, okay, so uh, retail prices. What are we looking at for? And let's draw some comparisons between the uh, between the uh, Titan and the uh, Mission. So, if I'm not mistaken, with the Carbon Titan, uh, I think we're around six and a half, um, somewhere around there. With our Carbon Mission, we are seven fifty for a non-electric, eight fifty for an electric. In our fiber shell uh, with the mission, for 550 for electric. Sorry, 550 non-electric, 650 for electric. Okay, and you say electric. You're talking uh, shield or the whole in, inside? Electric shield. Okay, just like a standard electric shield you'd find on other helmets. Okay, sounds good. Um, also, um, all right. See if we can turn it around here a little bit. Um, sure. Um, the the smaller vent, the the, the, the vents, um, the vents on the outside of the helmet. Um, on the outside. So in a Titan, these are both vents. In the Mission, they're not. Um, purely because we want to direct all the air out here. We don't want any air going in any places that's not going to be useful. Mm -hmm. And let's say the Titan has the, uh, the, the, the yeah the, the front and the top yes. kind of thing, so it's, uh, it's yep. totally totally different. Yep. Uh, yeah, we really want to we really controlling the air with the AMS system here, mm -hmm. um, so that does more than an adequate job of keeping everybody cool, keeping everything nice, and breathable, so we're not going to overheat. Okay, let's talk about the um, the sound the sound inside the helmet. Uh, you were saying that uh, you really improved the uh, insulation inside inside the helmet. So it's really hard to see, uh, but we have used a similar technology to the Bose noise canceling um, headphones. Yeah, it so, looks like the outside of the the, the Bose the uh, the cushion part. Yes, right? yeah. So what that's going to do is that greatly reduces the noise. Uh, what I've noticed is every time I put one of these on to show a customer, I tend to yell at them, um, just because you think you're. <laughs> Everything's a lot quieter, um, but also what I've noticed is it feel it sounds like you've got a full face helmet on with the visor down. When you've got the visor up, and you're talking with everybody. That's one of the main things is everybody notices how quiet it really is. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And sizes. Sizes. So we're going from an extra small to a double X, if I'm not mistaken. It's going to be the same sizing as the Titan. And uh, okay, so availability uh, U.S. and I would say let's just call it, just call it North America. Mm -hmm. Where uh, is the availability the same for for all of North America? I can't speak for the states because I honestly don't know. Um, not <laughs> being the rep for down there. Okay. Um, and it's a whole other sector. Yeah, I'll cut that, that out. That. Yeah. I'll cut that out. So. Yeah. Okay, sounds good.